Good day everyone! Today we are going to find the mean, standard deviation, and construct a bell curve which will be the display of our data in our research. That is all about the grades of 30 students of 11 Humes, St. Pedro Calungsod in Gen Math during the first semester. In order for us to know the grades, we made the survey and here are the results. With these results, let's now find first the mean and standard deviation. First, we will create six columns. At the first column, we have the X, where you can see the mid values of the group data. And in the second column, we have the F for the frequency. In the third column, we will multiply the second column to the first column. Before proceeding to the fourth column, we will get first the mean. And to get the mean, we have to divide the all sets of data in third column to the total number of the second column. And here in our data, we will get 92.2 as the mean. Proceeding to the fourth column, we will subtract the mean to the data values. Then, in the fifth column, we will just square the results of the fourth column. Then, for the last part, Multiply the previous column by frequency and add up a column. Now, to get the standard deviation, we will divide the total values of 6th and 2nd column, then get its root. And for the results of our given data, our standard deviation will be 2.73. Now, let's proceed on constructing the bell curve. For any population, the mean and the standard deviation are fixed. Thus, the Z formula matches the Z values one to one with the X values. That is for every X value. There corresponds a Z value and for each Z value, there is exactly one X value. Given the mean is equal to 92.2 and the standard deviation is equal to 2.74. But we are going to round them off so that the answer that we will get won't have decimal since the student's grade don't have decimal. And for our new mean, it will be equals to 92. And for our standard deviation, it will be equal to 3. Now, we are going to find the value that corresponds to a score x is equal to 95. To find the value, we will use the formula z is equal to x minus population mean overpopulation standard deviation. Then, we will check the given values. We have 92 for population mean, 95 for x, and 3 for population standard deviation. For the next step, we will substitute the given values in the computing formula. So, it will be z is equal to 95 minus to 92 over 3. And the answer will be 3 over 3 or 1. And that explains that the z values that correspond to the row score, which is 95, is 1 in the population distribution of, of grades of St. Pedro Calungsod in Gen Math during the first semester. And this is the bell curve showing z scores and row scores for our data. Based from the bell curve, we can say that the grade 95 is above average. And that's all for our research. Thank you for watching.